Hello YouTubers and welcome to another LEGO City review. So this is the LEGO City Prisoner Transporter. This is set 60043 and this is for ages recommended 5 to 12 and comes with a piece count of 196 pieces. Okay, and this currently retails here in the UK for £17.99 and that's from the Lego store or the Lego store online. Okay guys, so let's take our first look at this set now. Okay, there we go. So this is the Prisoner Transporter. Um, as we can see, it comes with the actual transporter, so the police vehicle there, um, to transport the prisoners. Um, we have this quad bike, um, and that's obviously what the bad guy is going to use to try and break out the prisoner um, and then obviously we have the police officer um, down here um, towards the left of the picture down there so let's take a look at those minifigures first okay first up we have our cop here so the plain blue legs um, up into that good printed torso a lot of the cop details on there his badge and his utility belt etc um, and obviously he has his police cap um, on his head there, so let's take a 360 view of him. You see there that printing continuing around to the rear of his torso, you can see his utility belt and the radio there also. And there he is with his obviously police cap off, so you can see his print into his face then, it's just the single sided face print. So let's take a look at our next minifigure. Okay, next up is the first of our two crooks. So this is our prisoner um, who would be is being transported in the obviously the uh, prison, prisoner transporter. Um, so they're good look at him there. You can see there he's got a ball and chain, and currently he's in handcuffs. So you can see that front torso prison uniform printing and the uh, grey beanie hat. So let's take a bit of a 360 view of him. Okay, back round to the front there with the beanie hat removed. So you can have a bit of a better look there at that face printing. Okay, so let's have a look at our final minifigure now. Okay, so this is our final minifigure, the other crook. So he's obviously um, trying to break out the prisoner from the prisoner transporter. Um, you can see there, plain grey legs. He's got the printed top, which is a jacket, and what appears to be, again, a striped top underneath that. So... Again, just depicting that he's a, a bad guy there. Um, he has this sort of helmet and goggles, and the goggles can go down like so. Okay, so we have the crowbar piece here, which he's holding in his hand. Uh, if we take a 360 view of him. You can see he does also have some rear printing detail to the rear of that torso. And with his helmet removed, you can see a better look at that printing on the face. And it is just a single-sided face printing. So that is the minifigures all reviewed and completed. Okay, so next up we have our little quad bike or ATV vehicle. Um, first thing to point out here, you can see there is this chain which is attached to the rear of the vehicle with this grappling hook piece, if I can hold that up. There we can see it is indeed a grappling hook. And that's obviously used to, uh, like I said before, to break out the prisoner from the uh, prisoner transporter. And I'll show you that in a short while. So let's just take a 360 view of this vehicle. Okay, so if we just take a look at some of the detailing, you can see on the front there, obviously the headlight detailing there, and the handlebars there, obviously to operate the ATV. Four wheels, um, obviously here where we can seat the minifigure, and I'll show you that in a second, and then like I've already mentioned, at the rear here um, is where our grappling hook fixes, or is attached rather to the rear of the quad bike there. So let's have a look how this looks now with one of our crooks. Um, seated on the quad bike, ready to ride it. Okay, there we go now with the crook in position, obviously about to uh, 
approach that transporter to uh, break out the prisoner. So let's take a look at that transporter now. Okay guys, here we go. So now here our first look at the prisoner transporter. First thing I want to mention actually is uh, my little helper Ethan, who unfortunately isn't here with me at the moment. Um, he actually built all this set, so he has just turned six years old. Um, and he built this a while back actually, so he may have even been five, or obviously getting towards the end of five. Um, so he would have just been around about six when he built this. Built it all by himself, applied all the stickers himself, etc. So uh, I was quite proud of him um, to have done that. It does say ages five to twelve, um, but obviously, you know, some of these can be quite difficult and complicated for certainly the younger kids to build. Anyway, so uh, let's take a 360 view now. Okay, there we go. So now uh, let's start off with some of the um, functions on this set, really. Where to start? So um, if we start round at the rear, obviously we have this door here, um, typical prison cell sort of door. Um, but that obviously open and closes like so. Um, if I manage to just tilt that up, you might be able to get a bit of a better look rather inside the vehicle itself there. Um, there we go. Um, on the top of the vehicle, well, first of all, obviously stickers, wherever you see this, there are stickers, so this is obviously number three um, vehicle. Um, at the top here we have a hatch, so if we can just open that up there, again, that is going to give us also a bit of a better look inside the vehicle. Let's try and get a little bit better light in there, hopefully you can see in there a little bit, but that's where our prisoner is going to be seated um, down in there. Okay, like so. So one thing that we can use on this is the crowbar to um, hold this open. Like, if we just turn that around that way, like so. Um, so that can get used there to hold that open, which is another means of obviously uh, getting the prisoner to escape. So he can, he can escape through the roof like so or um, uh, the other way which I'm going to show you in a minute which involves the grappling hook. Okay so now looking round to the cab area, I'm just going to zoom in there so you can see kind of the cab area there, obviously got no mini figures in there at the moment um, and again you can see uh, in through the side windows there. Um, so. How we get access to this is simply this front piece just lifts off very easily actually, like so. You can see there. Um, and then that gives us full access to the cab area there. You can see the yellow seat there and steering wheel for the police officer. Um, obviously to drive the uh, prisoner transporter. Um, if you can just make it out here. Um, there are a, some doors here, so it's a hatch that opens up like so. If we have a look through the rear, hopefully you can see through there, you can see all the way through. Um, if I try to close those, bear with me, there we go, you can see one closing there and the other closing there, so it's just a means of getting to the prisoner um, easily for the police officer from, uh, from there obviously. So the other thing that is down in here, if you can just make it out here, is a key. So that's obviously to uh, uh, lock and unlock the prisoner transporter. So I'm just going to try and get that out. There we go. Uh, obviously quite a large key. Hopefully you can see that there. And if I just hold it that way. There we go. You can see that key piece there. Okay, now we go now with the cop minifigure. Um, sat inside, obviously driving the truck now. So we just simply place that roof back in position, like so. Like I said, very, very easily done. So we now have our cop, or rather police officer, just about making out there, driving the uh, prisoner transporter. 
Hey guys, so I just want to point out the other main way of breaking out the prisoner from the prisoner transporter itself. This is where the uh, grappling hook comes into its own. So here's the grappling hook and all he would simply do is attach it to these bars here. So these, these window bar pieces on the side of the truck there. Which I'm struggling to do. Okay, so that will be attached on the side like so. And then the uh, quad bike or ATV would make its getaway. And as he does, pulling that, what would have happened? And I'm just going to move that out of the way so I can zoom in just to show you a little bit better. Um, and I'll just simply pull them out. So these very easily just pop out like so um, on both sides. So again, on that side, they obviously just pull off like so. Um, and they're obviously designed to do that, um, the way these are built, and it's just a great little fun um, feature, obviously, um, to enable the crooks to break out the prisoner. And they just simply slot back in place, like so, very easily. Give that a push down, and again on the other side, slot it back in place, like so, give it a push down, and there we go. There's those bars back in place. Great little play function. Okay guys, there we go, that's my review of this set complete. The Prisoner Transporter set 60043. Like I said, great little fun set with some great play features on this and well done to Ethan for building it. Please do go ahead and give this video a big thumbs up. Leave me any comments, questions or feedbacks down in that comment section. And if you haven't done so already, please do go ahead and subscribe to my channel. I look forward to seeing you all in the next video. Cheers!